Okay, so welcome to Precalculus lesson 1.0. So we have the introduction to conic sections. So what is a double right circular cone and how does it form? So when a straight line cuts a vertical line at a fixed point and that line rotates about that fixed point, so the figure that is formed is what you call a double right circular cone. So a double right circular cone is consists of naps. The nap is the curved lateral surface of the cone. So try to imagine an ice cream cone. So that is an example of a nap. The nap above the vertex is what you call the upper nap, while the nap below the vertex is what you call the lower nap. So an axis is the fixed vertical line that passes through the vertex and the center of the base. The vertex, sometimes called the apex, is the intersection of the generator and the axis. The vertex angle is the angle between the axis and the generator. The generator is the rotating line which runs from the vertex of the cone to the base. While the base is the flat circular surface whose center is perpendicular to the axis. So what is a conic section? The conic sections are formed by the intersection of a right circular cone with a plane. So a conic section may be an ellipse, a circle, a parabola, or a hyperbola. So let's begin with an ellipse. When a plane intersects the cone in such a way that the angle formed by the plane and the axis is greater than the vertex angle, the figure form is what you call the ellipse. A circle. So when a plane intersects a cone parallel to the base and perpendicular to the axis, the conic section form is what you call the circle. Parabola. When a plane intersects a cone in such a way that the angle formed by the plane and the axis is equal to the vertex angle, the conic section form is what we call the parabola. Hyperbola. So when the plane intersects both naps, and the angle formed by the plane and the axis is less than the vertex angle, the conic section form is what to call a hyperbola. A degenerate conic is generated when a plane intersects the vertex of the cone. So if the plane intersects a two cone at the vertex and at an angle greater than the vertex angle, so we will get a point. So imagine that plane from being an ellipse, the ellipse gets smaller and smaller until it reaches the vertex and that ellipse degenerate into a point. So if the plane intersects the two cones at the vertex and at an angle equal to the vertex angle, so we will get a line. So imagine that parabola as the plane moves downward 
until it reaches the vertex so that parabola degenerate into a line. So if the plane intersects the two cones at the vertex and at an angle less than the vertex angle, so we will get an intersecting lines. So as the plane moves going to the vertex of the double right circular cone, so those hyperbola becomes two intersecting lines, or the hyperbola degenerate into intersecting lines. So that will be the end of our lesson, so always remember guys, to keep training and keep learning until you get it right. So this will be the end of our lesson, and see you next meeting.